Central Village. I'm in Block D, which is the tallest, and it has 20 floors. Our rent also includes the membership for the gym, which is literally straight downstairs, but it's only for off-peak time, so at half six in the morning till half eleven, then at two to half three. Um, I've also bought my own set of plastic drawers. Then you have a shelf and underbed storage, which is good for things such as luggage or shoes. Some rooms are bigger, the en-suites are pretty standard size, they're all pretty much the same. Um, I would recommend getting some over the door hooks to put your things on because there is only one hook in the bathroom. sufficient space in the kitchen, there's enough drawers and you also get a lot of fridge space because there's typically six to a flat and three to each fridge. So I hope you enjoyed the tour but I thought I'd run through a few bits um, that might be useful. Firstly being the positives of Central Village. The biggest positive for me, and I think most people would agree, is location. You are close to campus, like you are literally at the doorstep of campus. It is, I believe, labelled as off campus, but um, you're close to lecture, th lecture theatres, such as like Roger Stevens, um, conference auditorium and they were like ones that I went to a lot because in first year especially I'm not sure about second third year but you do a lot of like school-wide modules so there's like hundreds of you in one lecture so in first year especially I had to go to those lecture faces a lot and they're literally three minutes walk away and also you're just so close to town which is really useful especially if you like doing your weekly shop you can, it, Aldi is walkable distance away and Morrison's is literally six minutes walk away. And then like the centre of town, which is Trinity, is like 15 minutes walk away, 10 minutes. And then that's literally next door to the train station. So you're so close to everything. And then straight downstairs, you can't bother walk into Morrison's, you've got Tesco Express. And then um, you also have the gym, um, which is literally downstairs and as I mentioned in the video you get off-peak membership with your rent for that gym but um, Central Village people also get free access to the city side gym which is a combination next door and I think that is for all day. I think overall the positives definitely outweigh the negatives. There are negatives to Central Village with one being the lifts in Block D. They take absolutely ages and because there are 20 floors and there's only two lifts so for instance when you're moving in the day that you're moving in it's you have to wait like literally 15 minutes for a lift and before a lecture it's the same you have to wait so long for a lift it stops at every single floor so you know it's just a bit of a pain there's also other small negatives such as like um the kitchen in block d having no window like no opening window so you have to always have the fan on, otherwise you literally smell disgusting after cooking. If the whole flat's cooking, you're bound to smell horrible, like just smell completely of food. I think when I moved in as well, a factor that I saw a lot of people talking about was that Central Village isn't very sociable. I think in a sense that is true because 
it isn't really like a typical uni accommodation. You are sort of confined within your own flat. I can't quite explain the dynamics of Central Village. I just wouldn't say it's unsociable, but I wouldn't say it's really sociable either. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask because I have those questions for us moving in.